You're listening to the Dennis Prager Show, taking a break from the politics of the world for a uh, something that I, I could have had on the happiness hour, actually. Uh, I, by something, I mean the subject. And But it just, I, I, I thought we would just do it during a regular hour. I have a man in the studio who was born with cerebral palsy. He's confined to a wheelchair. As you will hear, he has a marked uh, speech impediment. And therefore, when he uh, speaks publicly, uh, travels with uh, with a translator, as it were. Is that the word for you, Rich Finley? Um, basically, Serena likes to jokingly call it a CCO, a chief communications officer. That's very good. You're the chief communications officer. I am the officer. Chloe to his Jack Bauer, so to speak. Boy, do I know what you're talking about. Don't start me. Do not start on 24. That's all we'll talk about. All right. All right. He, we, he, he's like a machine, I, I swear. Anyway, I have in the studio a man named Serena Vasegi. And Mr. Vasegi is, a, is uh, born with severe cerebral palsy. He's confined to a wheelchair. As I said, you'll, you'll hear the speech impediment. Nevertheless... Uh, he has uh, earned a bachelor's degree in business and marketing from the University of Southern California. He has started his own firm, he uh, providing business and marketing services. He's a published author, and uh, he goes around moti- with motivational speech. Is that correct? That's correct. And uh, uh, th- this man was brought to my attention by a rabbi who brought him out to speak. Is that correct? Rabbi Moshe Brisky in Southern California, a dear friend of mine. And uh, I just thought that your story, Serena, needs needs to be noted. People know, need to know about you. And you are a living proof of what I argue, that it's attitude. And uh, is that fair to say? Attitude is pretty much everything? Yeah, yeah the passion. Do you want me to repeat it? Yes, Did of you course, yes. He said you have to have passion? Yeah, um, I just did not want to be. He said, "I did not be. I did not want to be relegated to a life of. Did you say institutions, or insignificant? Oh, insignificant. Ah, very good. Yeah, that's that's the reason that I think this is important. People know of your work. You you could have, and I'm sure that there are people in, in with your situation who have just given up." The, the irony is there are people who don't have such obstacles who give up. <laughs> this is what drives me nuts, uh, you know, and this is why, why, we, why, we, why I talk about the power of attitude. When I meet somebody like you, what I wonder is, is your spirit to conquer and love life, which is a big f- feature of your work, loving life, is this built in or did you work at it? Let- it's b- both. He said it's both? Um, I just, in high school, I was accepted among my peers. In high school, I was accepted among my peers. He was actually the first handicapped student accepted into the general population up in Agora Hills. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. So kids did not make fun of you? You were treated, you were treated well? You know what? I, I mean, we're really shopping to the kids. He said, I made more fun of myself than the kids did. <laughs> so you preempted it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, no, that's, that's, that's powerful, actually. I, you think, I, yeah. I can humor is the best way to bring down stereotypes. Humor is the best way to bring down stereotypes. Boy, is that true. Yeah. Humor is a very powerful weapon. What's the biggest, what, what continues to be the biggest obstacle? Is it the speech issue? Uh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah, then, and so that's why, obviously, you're, you you work with him. Now, do you go around traveling and, and speaking to groups? Yeah, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, I, we we have made more of a, of a show than a speech. And we've made it more of a show than a speech. Uh-huh. It's kind of a give and take between the two of us. Oh, between the two of you. Right. It's always the two of and, us. Oh, I see. No, well, I would imagine that. But I didn't know that's a give and take between the two of you. Yeah, we found it. I mean, we found our way. I've worked with him for about two years. So right. there have been times where it's been strict translation. But what we found kind of works is I'm the conduit between the audience 
and right. Serena. So I asked the question. Serena, questions if you thinking. had to tell my my audience around America and indeed around the world, what one essence, one th- message you would like them to take from your life, from what you have learned about life, or want them to take, what is it? Dream big and be dedicated. Dream big and be dedicated to that dream. And don't let any obstacles to get in your way. And we want to make sure that we mention Serena uh, wrote a book that we just he just nationally I mean he just won a national award for his book Love Your Life and It Will Love You Back. And it won the Indie Excellence Award for the best business book of 2008. Really? The be- mm-hmm. Now, I want to repeat that book because uh, it's very inspiring. And uh, l- l- let's get that name up once more. And that is Love Your Life and It Will Love You Back. That's, by the way, up at PragerRadio.com. I just want to tell you, Pete Carroll, the famous head football coach of uh, USC, said, Serena's heart and passion for living has inspired me and changed my life. He has so much to share with all people from all walks. His gifts abound in this book as he shares a zest for living that makes him my hero. Now, do you ever reflect on the issue of God and and your uh, situation? In other words, do you believe that, first of all, do you believe in God? Uh, you know, I really know I really he said, "If you don't mind, I'd rather not get into the religion issue." That's it. that's fine. I, not, I, 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 we ask everything, but you don't have to answer everything. That, that's the I, rule. That's the rule I, we have here. I, 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 I can read it. I'm very spiritual. I can tell you, I'm very spiritual. Right. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. But but do you ever reflect on that? You have been handed these. This difficulty, and I'm not saying you should feel this way. I'm not suggesting that. I just want to know if you do. I have these real issues handed to me by life, but I will make use of them to help others. Is that, do you ever look at it that way? Or look, I got this, I might as well do the best I can and inspire others. It's it's both. It's both? I can't help. I I have bad days. I can't help that I have bad days. But I want to have good days too. But I but I want to have good days too. Did you say one? Yeah, I want to have good days too. And you just decided this is what I'm handed. I'm going to make the best of this. All right, a couple of more minutes uh, with Serena Vazeki. I'll remind you about what the book is. You are listening to the Dennis Prager Show. 